and you name <laughs> and you name the deep purple song hi guys welcome back to the channel Woo here we go happy hump day hey, the Wednesday shave yeah we call it hump day because it's all downhill till Friday from here but if you do work weekends I'm sorry tough I don't there you no I'm only kidding but it's hump day for me how are you all doing okay as you've seen by the thumbnail and apologies in advance for the thumbnail I was sent a sample by Moses thank you Moses I dropped it in the sink before getting it. There you go. Aqua de Palma Colonia. Aqua. Aqua de Palma Barbia Colonia shaving cream. There. So that's what we're on with today. Um, Mr. Wickham's sent me this. We fill it with hot water. It's minus four out there. So I've whipped it up already in there. Now I can tell you one thing, guys. It smells fantastic. And it's as slick as anything. The brush we're going to be using today is that one. I've already had it. And the official John Shaves is Super Soaker. Just in case you forgot what a cup looks like. There you go, Yaki Butterscotch 26mm. We'll put that in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. Um, there's the balm. New Age by Men. Can't remember where I got it from. Uh, I think it may well be um, TK Max. There you go. Aftershave, courtesy of Stuart George. Check this out. Look, I could <laughs> Check that out. It smells absolutely wonderful. I've had it in there for ages. I just don't want to use it. Um, I saw it with this. But as you've seen, I've done a bit of jiggery poker on the thumbnail because I do like a nice thumbnail, guys. I don't... I, 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 I know I shouldn't, but just you see these thumbnails and they'll just show a sample and some shaving stuff thrown in a towel and take an overhead picture I, I just I can't I can't do that me uh, but that's just I'm not saying anything wrong with it before anyone flies you know and all the emails and PMs start I'm not saying anything wrong with it I'm just saying I don't like doing that there you go uh, now actually I brought the wrong balm look I brought this in yeah the right way up Sterling Piacenza because Piacenza is a dupe homage or whatever to Aqua de Palma. No, that's original stuff sent to me by Stuart George. Thank you, Stuart. That and Piacenza, and I've got Piacenza in there. This, this uh, Piacenza, Sterling did a fantastic job. They did an awesome job. I mean, they're, they're virtually to an untrained nose like mine. They are, in fact, indistinguishable. But this lasts longer and slightly better quality. You can, you can smell the better quality in that. But there you go. Anyway, so if you're up for it, maybe say in the comments, I'll do uh, an Alpia Chenza shave in a week or two. Weapon of choice. Here you go. Now, Christopher Bradley Carve. Now, I've polished mine. Can you see that? Now, somebody has actually asked me. Uh, I don't know if they want me to say the name, so I'm not going to say the name, but somebody's actually asked me if I will sell some razors on their behalf. One of them's a Christopher Bradley Carve. Um, and are you ready? Because he hasn't polished his, but I've polished mine, and I thought, I'll, I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to hold them side by side now to give you some idea. Now, I've only polished mine for an hour. Um, the light probably isn't great oh, can you see that uh, let's see if we can no now i'm blocking out the light the light is very dark it was minus four out there guys but there you go that's it i just thought i'd give you a quick look at his that isn't polished against mine that is and what are we going to be putting in by the way that they action on a calf doing that is the best of all resin I've had. There's just something it's ultra ultra smooth, really satisfying. We're gonna be putting a feather in it guys. A feather, feather, feather. Tickle me with a feather. There you go. Feather, high stainless, 
and the plate. Let's have a look. It's an F. An F. That has gel. A gel again was gifted to me by Dean from Canada. Thank you. I say it all the time. You guys in the wet shaving community. I got the Christopher Bradley with a couple of plates, and, and the plate that it went up to was a C plate. And I just mentioned in a video, I said it's just not quite aggressive enough for me. Next thing you know, private message off Dean. I've got the F plate. Too aggressive for me. A bit more aggressive than the C or the D. You might like it. And it is on expense. Like all you other guys out there, see it the F plate. All you other guys have just got some more samples. I'll tell you more about that in the Saturday morning shave. Uh, he sent it and then there he came a week later so that's it there on the F plate we'll stick that in there John slow down take a breath wet your face so how have you all been? oh that water you'll have to put up with the sound of running water that was freezing like I said minus four out there uh, and our apartment here is just like an ice block we had the heating on this morning. We're well, all just coming from work. We had the heating on this morning. Uh, came on at 4 a.m. Tag it up at 4.45 a.m. Came on at 4 a.m. And we put it off at 5.15. Because we all leave the house for about 6. And it only takes half an hour to um, cool down. Put it off at 5.15. By 5.25 this apartment was like ice again. Okay, come on. Enough of this waffleization. Here we go. Let's get that in there. Um, I'm sure there's something I've missed. What does it smell like? Every scent description that I've found says it smells fresh and clean. Now, I would agree with that. Oh, it's slick. I got some on my hands. My word, it's slick. But look at this, guys. Look at this. It's wonderful, isn't it? Look. You know what it smells like? Do you remember? Mm. Do you remember I got a shaving soap stick? A couple of months back I did a shave video with it if you're a regular viewer. Oh, what were they called? Chung Fung Sing. Or the Good Fellas Smile. It was something like that. And they said the shaving stick was Reeve Ghost scent. That's what this is. Reef Ghost scent. Well, check that out for a ball lather, guys. That's some big, thick, luscious lather. Oh, hold the brush up. See? Hold the brush up so you can see, look. Just how. No, you can't anyway. But anyway, you get the idea, don't you? <laughs> Shut up and shave, John. There you go. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super duper efficient. How are you all doing? I've had some some stuff delivered, some samples delivered today. And we've got some new stuff in the den. So on the Saturday morning shave, I'm going to make a bold statement here. I'm going to be using shaving cream and, and shaving balm set. No other UK YouTube wet shaver has used. No. It was gifted to me. I'll say more on Saturday morning. Oh, God, it smells divine. It really does. And, uh, I know that pesky Lee Hazley. has actually called me the name of this soap in the past. So you'll probably think it's a really appropriate name. So there you go. It's a chain in Saturday morning. Let me know what you'll... Oh, that lather's just lovely and warm. Mr Wickham, thank you so much for that bowl. Yeah. Let me know what your shares of the day are. Let me know what your shares are. Now, Morsey sent me this. Mm. And I'll be absolutely honest, I wish I was a daily shaver. I've actually considered shaving three times a week. Two on cam and once off cam. Just to 
Mm, just like you use all this lovely stuff that I've got. Morsey sent me this. If I didn't already have 150 odd tubs of soap in now, I would have bought some of this. It, it's, it's superb. It just screams luxury. You can feel it very soft, very luxuriant. Just absolutely wonderful, wonderful stuff. Thank you, Mosey. When I get an opportunity to shave with it. Now, the shave I've got planned for Saturday. The postman may affect it. Because I've been contacted my very popular artisan and he's sending me some stuff but so far as I'm aware they're based in the good old US of A the name would suggest they were based somewhere else but not the best in US of A and he's sending me some soap on Send me some soap out. So if that comes this week, don't I don't think it will what we on now. It's Tuesday evening as I record this. Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. A chance. I don't think it will. After ship. I've got after ship. Um and it's okay after ship, but its timings are off. I've had a notification. Your parcel has an update. Your package arrived at the clearing facility in London at 9am this morning. And at like 10 past 10, postman's knocked at the door and he's had it. There you go. So. So. Aftership. As, I've had about three updates of Aftership. And they've all said the same thing. Your package has an update. It's in transit. Woo! Gone on and looked and it hasn't moved. It's still in Philadelphia. So... I'm hoping... It's an aftership glitch. And it has actually. Landed in the UK. If it has... There's a pretty good chance it'll get here by Friday. And I'll use it on Friday. It's all cloak and dagger stuff with me because I love I love my fellow YouTube wet shavers. But I've got to be honest guys, that I just nicked myself there. In the past. I've mentioned What I'm going to be using and then lo and behold the very next year two or three YouTube brethren have used it as well and then when I've used it everyone's like hey, look at him copying them uh, anyway all's fair in love and war that's it look at all this that we've got left and we're going to do a lather knit and look at that beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah just the usual suspects guys but that was a good share so like i said let me know what you think and if you're in the uk or you're prepared to pay i don't know what the postage is but if you're prepared to pay the post and you're outside the uk uh, and you want that calf pm me that's not why i brought it in i brought it in just to but while i'm here i might as well um I know I've listed it on my Facebook, I've listed it. If you have a look on my Facebook, John Shares 101. At my last post on there. Yeah, I did, I did catch myself. I put a picture on of them all. Basically, they're all going on Facebook tomorrow. But I thought I'd give you guys in the community first tips, so to speak. That's why I put them on John Shares 101. There you go. 
Wow. Good shape. I rushed a bit. I rushed a bit. I always do. I struggle with um, things opening up now. Getting back. Busier at work. Busier in the apartment. Plans. Grandchildren. Stuff like that. I do. And I don't. I don't like. Um, I don't like filming too late on into the evening. So. I'm just trying to crack on. In a little window. I've got that apartment to myself. For the wife and daughter to come on. Although you heard. There you go. Look at that, guys. That, that is BBS, and I can tell you right now, my skin feels fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Here we are. <laughs> Splash up with the. <laughs> I can't get the lid off. That way, it's a pull off. I'm twisting it and screwing it. And it's a pull off. There you go. Oh, look at that. There's enough left there for another application. Here we go. Oh, wonderful. There you Oh, yeah. Oh, not, not a sting. Nothing. Oh, it does. Piacenza really has hit the nail on the head. Mm. Oh, yes. Absolutely wonderful. And there you go with the Piacenza balm. So, like I said, guys, let me know what you thought of this shave. Let me know what you're shaving with. Let me know if you've used these products, what you think of them. <laughs> Let me know, and I bet you can't guess what the Saturday shave is. You know, even if the stuff from America comes, I may just share with that wonderful stuff that's been sent to me by a subscriber. Like I said, I'll say more, I'll do a little a little um, introduction to what's been sent to me and what we're using in the Saturday shave on Saturday, just a minute or two. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Thanks for sticking with me. We did okay, didn't we? We did. We did okay. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for, thanks for sticking with the video. Um, look after yourselves. This weather's treacherous. Just as I was coming in here, I learned of a bus that had overturned with some 70 odd people in it in the bad conditions and according to the Met Office it's only going to get worse snow on the way look after yourselves stay safe and be the change you wish to see in the world and I will see you all on Saturday morning look after yourselves guys bye